A demographic dividend is defined as a future economic boom triggered by investments today in the young people of Africa. These investments are needed in family planning to achieve a swift and broad-based fertility decline in education and skills, in health, and in jobs. Amid fears that a lack of opportunity for younger people could lead to social and political unrest, the idea of a demographic dividend represents hope. A first demographic dividend is expected when today's young people are able to lead meaningful and productive adult lives. A second dividend could follow if in later life these adults are financially independent. So, the demographic dividend agenda considers future elders. Yet, no consideration is given to today's older adults, the more than 63 million people in Africa over age 60. We think this older population is relevant to discussions about the demographic dividend. Here's why. There is a perception that older people are frail and irrelevant. At the same time, an enduring narrative in Africa is that we value the wisdom of our elders more than other cultures as they make only positive contributions to society. These perceptions obviously contradict each other, and we need to look at older people and their connections to younger people in a very different way. We must resist putting all older people in the same basket. Some are business people, professionals, respected. Some are vulnerable on the margins of society. While some have a hard time taking care of themselves, others enjoy good health and independence well into their old age. No matter their status or health, the lives of older Africans are linked to those of the young and they can influence prospects for family planning, education, skills, health, and jobs. These influences can be positive or negative and are a result of what older people do or don't do. Let's look at some examples. Elders have a lot to say about the business of making babies. Religious and traditional leaders and grandparents can influence how old a girl should be when she gets married or if a pregnant girl stays at school. They can also allow or prevent young people from accessing family planning and other reproductive health services. Investments in education and skills go beyond access to quality schooling and training. Strong foundations for the future are built in early life and rest on good nutrition from birth and proper nourishment of a young child's mind, body, and spirit. The architects of these foundations are the people who care for young children. In many circumstances, grandmothers in particular are chief among them. Their decisions shape what food and medical care young children get and what emotional and intellectual stimulation they receive. As children get older, much of their ability to stay healthy and deal with the demands of school and everyday life depends on support at home. Where parents are incapable or absent, it is often grandparents who assume these responsibilities. Another important influence is related to income that older people contribute to family budgets, which determine whether children can afford to go to school or access health services. Older people may also wield influence on the creation of job and business opportunities for Africa's youth. One sector with enormous potential is agriculture, the backbone of many African economies. Invigorating this sector means improving productivity for smallholder farms, as well as exploring new ways to add value to the resources harvested from African soil. Whether they own or make decisions about or cultivate land, older people represent a significant share of the farming community. They therefore influence possibilities for growth in the sector. The need to care for older relatives can deny younger women in particular the prospect of economic independence. Formal care mechanisms would be one way to fix this and would provide more opportunities for jobs. A Nigerian proverb illustrates the responsibility elders assume for the next generations. An elder cannot be in the marketplace and allow the head of an infant to be badly positioned on her mother's back. Better positioning for a demographic dividend can result from how we harness the influences that older people wield. Here's how. We must optimize the positive and counter the negative influences of older people. This mandates that older people be included and engaged in discussions about the future. We must also build stronger systems to ensure older people are in the best health for as long as possible with access to lifelong learning. Creating intergenerational platforms can ensure that more younger people can build on the life and professional experiences of elders. Such investments could be good for everyone. They would benefit today's older people as well as the young now and in their old age. And they would help Africa live its values while making sure its societies grow sustainably with opportunities for all.